بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم المثال التالي عن exergy analysis of a cooling and humidification process outdoor air flowing at the rate of 3.5 meter cube per second at the light bulb temperature 40 degrees centigrade wet bulb temperature 30 degrees centigrade and 101.3 to 5 kilopascal is cooled by a cooling coil whose surface temperature is 12 degrees centigrade the coil bypass factor is 0.2 Find the exergy flow, exergy destruction, and exergy efficiency of the coil. Specific heat at constant pressure and gas constant for air are 1.005 kJ per kilogram given. 0.287 kJ per kilogram given for steam is 1.87 kJ per kilogram given. This is the moisture at point one passes over a cooler coil. Some of moisture in the air condenses and fall down at point 4 while point 2 is cold. There's a bypass factor for the coil is point 2. The coil temperature is 12 degrees centigrade. Bypass factor point 2. Required to find the exergy destruction of the air. The importance of this example is to explain the mass transfer in this process. As we know that the mass transfer means there is a chemical exergy instead of thermal exergy of the air. The thermal exergy is due to temperature difference between 1 and 2, while the chemical exergy is due to condensation of water vapor over the coil of the surf surface of the coil. If we take a close view to the coil, this is the coil. Ambient air consists of dry air associated with water vapor. As the dry air passes through the coil, he will not lose any of its mass. It will be converted to dry air also. Here it's hot and it will be cold at this point. If we take this point one, two, three, for the air from point one, to point to for the dry air, it's a sensible cooling. While for the water vapor, it is as the water vapor passes on the coil, coil some of water vapor condenses and fall down as condensate at point. This called point four. This is the control volume. The condensation of water vapor on the coil coil means there is a heat added, latent heat added to the coil. This is the Q. The condensation mass flow rate M dot four equal to if we call this M dot R it will be equals to M dot air into moisture content at point one, my moisture content at point two. This is omega one, this is omega two. Okay, the amount of heat added to the cooling coil, is a latent heat as we mentioned before, equal to M dot four mass of quantity. Two H F G. This is a T coil. The heat across the control volume equals to M dot four into H F at T coil. Okay, then 
the control volume mass flow rate of air crosses the control volume in this point and lift at this point heat of condensation on the uh, latent heat of condensation subjected to the cooling coil and droplet of water lose some of heat if we write the energy equation for this example zero equal to m dot one h one here minus m dot two h two at the exit plus q I'll call it Q condensation, Q condensation minus M dot four into HF Zed plus Q evaporator the load the overall load subject to the evaporator. As we mentioned before of Q condenser is the latent heat of condensation of water on the coil. The exergy equation then equal to m dot 1 psi 1 minus m dot 2 psi 2 plus Q condensation into 1 minus dead state to the T coil which is T3 the Q coil minus M dot four psi four this is the overall this is the Q evaporator means minus psi destruction. This is the overall exergy equation of the cooling at inflation process. Okay. If we talk about the exergy efficiency of the coil equal to the change of exergy of air during passage recoil is equal to the absolute value m dot one psi one minus m dot two psi two divided by the thermal exergy which is Q evaporator one minus T naught L T three the absolute value of this factor. بعد ما كملنا المعادلة مع الإكسيرجي نطلع على الإكسيرجي فلو مثل ما قلنا بالمحاضرة السابقة الإكسيرجي توتال يتكون من thermal exergy, chemical exergy and mechanical exergy. Thermal exergy is due to temperature difference between the air stream and the dead state temperature. And the chemical exergy is the difference between the condensate water mass transfer omega naught at the state and omega at a given point. While the mechanical exergy is the due to the pressure difference. In air conditioning system, we assume that steady state and steady flow, and there is no pressure difference between the inlet and outlet. So this term, equation three, may be eliminated. However, the overall exergy, summation of thermal exergy, chemical exergy, and mechanical exergy. The solution of this case will be shown now. I wrote the program before. This is the properties of air, and this is the water. Here the data given by the example, dry bulb temperature one, wet bulb, volume flow rate, pressure, since it's constant, I'll give it P only without number. Dry bulb temperature, bypass factor, T4, X4. This is X4. X4 is zero mean that condensate or liquid water, if we see this is liquid water. The dry fraction equal to zero. T out, T naught, it's the dead state. 
equal to the ambient conditions done by temperature one. CPA, CPV are okay. The thermal properties of the points H1 is for air. This is air, dry bulb temperature one, and B mean wet bulb temperature one, and P equal to P. Volume flow, volume, specific volume, and the omega moisture content. Point three. Point two, I have no enough data to find the thermal properties of point two, so I will jump to point three. Phi one equal to phi three equal to one. Why this is equal to one? If we see this matter, point three the condensate means that the relative humidity equal to hundred percent, as we can see here. This is point three lies on the hundred percent relative humidity. So for point three, I will take the relative humidity equal to hundred percent, mean one. This is H three. This is omega three. Point two, I can find the condition of point two from the bypass factor. This is the bypass factor. The ratio between the unconditioned air to the total air. It's H2 minus H3 over H1 minus H3 or T2 minus T3 and T1 minus T3. This is the bypass factor. The first equation, I find H2 and from the second equation, find the dry bulb temperature 2. Omega 3 from the two properties, the Thalby and temperature. Okay, the second working fluid is water. The water, the condensate water. This is the condensate water. From condensate water, it's function of T4. T4 equal to coil temperature. And x is how x4, it's zero. Since it's fluid, liquid, entropy, in HFG, need of evaporation, in thermal of evaporation water, at T is how T coil. Dead state for air, omega naught is how omega one equal to omega one. And the dead state for water, H naught, function of T naught and X naught. Also the entropy function of T naught and X exchange flow for most air. Point one. This is the shape of the equation. This is the thermal exergy of point one, dry bulb temperature one to the T naught. Since this temperature is equals, so this term equal to zero. Also, chemical exergy, point one equal to dead state. This term also is zero. Psi one equal to thermal exergy plus chemical exergy. From point two, the same equation, but I changed the light bulb temperature to the two and the omega to the two. If we uh, simple run, as you know, Psi one equal to zero because there is no exchange difference between the airstream and ambient condition. This is for water, psi naught, H4 minus T naught, S4 minus psi naught. This is for check only, has no meaning here. I can delete it. Mass flow rate. Mass flow rate to volume, to the specific volume at point one, where the mass flow rate of water is the mass flow rate of air into the moisture content difference between one and two. And mass flow rate at point two equal to mass flow rate at point one minus the condensate 
on the coiling coil. Thermal analysis, this is M1H1 minus M2H2 minus M4H4 into FHG4, as we seen before here. This is the enthalpy of condensate leaving the coil, cooling coil, and this is the heat gain by the cooling coil, M4 into HFG. Minus M4 H4 plus Q evaporator and the exergion analysis equal to the difference between exergion of air plus thermal exergy minus exergy of water leaving the coil coil minus the destruction of exergy and the exergy efficiency as you know is the difference between the exergy flow exergy in and exergy out of the air to the thermal exergy. We made a simple run. This is the result, exergy efficiency 0.17 and exergy destruction 29.65 heat of evaporator and this is the final result. This is the mass flow rate at point 0.1 at point 0.2 as you know the difference between mass flow rate and condensate equal to mass flow rate at point two. And this is the exergy, this is the data state. Exergy one, as we said before, that's equal to zero and two and three. Okay, next example will be about the mixing error. Thank you very much.